Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, December 20th, 2013. This week, photo tinting using adjustment layer presets in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. Photo tinting is a really fun way to get creative with your images. Whether you want to give your photos a vintage feel with a sepia tone or go wild with different colors, you'll want to tint your photos in a way that is non-destructive. Photoshop and Elements Adjustment Layer Presets give you the flexibility to play with your photos without actually altering the original image. Here's how. Open the image that you want to tint in Photoshop or Elements. If the image comes in as a background, double click the word Background in the Layers panel and then click OK in the dialog box that appears. Press Ctrl J or on a Mac system Command J to make a copy of the image. You'll see over in the Layers panel you've now got two copies of your image. Click the Create a New Fill or Adjustment Layer icon in the Layers panel. It looks like a circle which is half black or half white and it's either at the top or the bottom of your Layers panel depending on your software. Choose Hue Saturation from the Adjustment Layer menu and then tick the Colorize button in the Hue Saturation dialog box. Move the Hue and Saturation sliders to get the color you want. Now for very light or very dark images, you may need to move the Lightness slider to the right or to the left first. When you're satisfied with the look, close the Hue Saturation dialog box. You can leave the adjustment layer as it is here on its own layer, or you can press Ctrl E or on a Mac system Command E on the keyboard to merge the adjustment layer and the photo together. Now you have a tinted image on top of your original image. At this point, if you want to create more tinted images, select the original and press Ctrl J or on a Mac system Command J to copy it again. Hide the tinted image by clicking the Layer Visibility icon, which looks like an eyeball on the left side of the tinted layer. Click the Untinted Copy and apply a Hue Saturation Adjustment Layer again. Take the Colorize box. And then I'll merge the layers. Continue until you have as many tints as you like. You can just keep stacking them up. Restore the visibility of the hidden layers by clicking on the Layer Visibility icon again. To design your project, drag a tinted image from the Layers panel onto a new document. Playing with color is a fun way to change up your projects. Photoshop and Elements make it easy to get creative without overwriting your original image. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digital's tip.